so welcome back to this channel IBMI classes um, in this video session uh, we will discuss the self join in DB2 so we already discussed uh, inner join uh, outer join uh, which are actually left right or full join now we will be discussing the self join so um, there we join two different tables but here we join the same table twice so when when we join the same two build twice in a query then that is known as self join basically so we can join the same table uh, twice using either using inner join or left join clause so uh, why we use this uh, self join actually so whenever we have a, a table and uh, in that table we have some columns which have a relationship in between them so if we got the relationship in the same table then we can uh, join the same table twice to get that relationship so that uh, uh, that join is known as self join so um, now just uh, one more thing is there like uh, when we are referencing the same table twice in a query then we have to use the aliases so we will we would need to give the alias for each table and just take an example do the str sql sorry select star from employee fl so I have created this table here employee ID is in teaser and manager ID is in teaser field and this is a character 20 length character field. Now we can see that this table is storing the employee ID as well as the manager ID. So and the employee name. So we can get the we have the relationship here between the employee and the manager. So we can extract which employee is reporting to which manager using the same table so here we just want to know that uh, which employee name is reporting to which manager name so i just want to take the employee name and manager uh, name in the same row then we will be using the self join here using inner join or uh, left join to extract that information so just select star from employee fl as a so we are giving the alias here a i'm using inner join right now employ fl b so i am joining these two same table twice using the alias a and p and the inner join inner join means we are fetching the um, common records from both the tables based on the specified condition on so on b dot employee id equals to a dot manager id so here i am getting a dot so the employee in b would be a manager in table a so if that is a manager that is a manager so we would be getting the regards of the employees actually so a dot emp name is employee comma and p dot emp name is the manager itself is manager so here uh, for fields also i'm using aliases employee fl sorry so this one uh, so we can see that employee Amit Amar Aman is reporting to manager Alok and Abhay is reporting to Alan now just see the query uh, the file here so we can see that Amit Amar and Aman Aman are reporting to employee ID 2 means Alok that's correct and Abhay is reporting to Alan that's correct and Alok and Alan are not reporting to anyone because they are manager itself so we have manager id as null for them 
now we have extracted the information what we want now how this uh, self uh, join query works um, I'll explain it uh, more so just uh, copy this uh, record which is present in um, that table work employee fill do work member PDM I, I, I just I have just created a text file here that is blank so here I am explaining this concept of self join so just copy this so this is the recall in table now I am joining the same table again twice using the aliases A and B so this is for table A and this is for table B now table A is having this data and table B is having this data so both the tables having the same data now we are doing the same the join using this one b dot emp id to a dot manager id this one so now how inner join works is it will search for this one so this employee one is present in manager id a dot manager id no one is not present so it will not um, uh, consider this record two is present in this manager id so yes two is present in manager id so this employee two who is a manager so here we can see that this is a manager because this manager id contains this employee id so this is a manager and so if this is a manager so what are what are these records so this manager id so this contains the employee id this one this is also employee recalled so this is also an employee recalled now we have three matched uh, rows so three matched rows so now we see what is the query this one a dot employee name as employee b dot manager as manager so a dot employee name is this one a dot so this is employee and this is manager so we got three rows here amit amar aman so a dot employee amit a dot employee amar a dot employee aman so we have three rows for employees whose manager is two which is this one this one amar so the manager uh, a dot employee name is Amit, a dot employee name is Amar, a dot employee name is Aman and b dot employee name is manager which is Amar. So for these rows the the result will be Amit, Amar, Aman like this one. If you see Amit, Amar, Aman and the manager is Alok. That's correct now it will search for the third uh, employee name id so it won't get this id here fourth fourth is also not here because we are using b dot employee id uh, equals to a dot manager id six six is also not here so six is also not a manager five five is here so five he, now this uh, matching row found because we use inner join now this is a manager 5 is a manager so this employee 
we for uh, we fetch for this employee and this is a manager so alan is a manager so for which this is called fetched and this is an employee so employee name would be abhay and manager name would be alan as based on a a dot employee name as employee b dot employee name as manager so if we see a dot employee name as employee b dot employee name as manager b dot employee id equals to e dot manager id so abhay is the employee of uh, or you can say is the employee and reporting to manager alan so this is the way uh, that this query works so this query basically starts from here it search for one in this manager id and if it is found then this employee id is a manager of the employees for which the rows found in table this table the same table for which alias is a you can say these are two tables now because we have used alias in the same query a or b so this is the function of the um, self join using the inner join so we got the we got the matching records now i think you have got how this query works um, that is the self join query using the inner join so we are joining this the table twice in a query in a sql query now i'm going to tell you the left join so in place of uh, inner join i'll be using the left join so now we got amit is a alok is the manager of amit alok is the manager of amar alok is the manager of aman alan is the manager of abhay but alok and alan uh, don't have any manager so they are blank so we got two more records using left join in inner join we got this one so what is left join basically we got the result of the inner join plus the records which are not in the result of inner join from the left table so let's discuss how this works so in the same data here if we see that so it will search for one so this is a right table b and this is a left table so we are basically doing employee fl a in a left join employee fl b so a is the left table b is the right table so this is the left table and this is the right table so we are using left join basically so what we are doing here then again the process works like it one search for here then the manager id it won't get so it won't pick for one to find so the inner join result will be coming as before uh, which is coming for the inner join uh, for the self join query amit amar aman so the manager would be alok 3 won't find 4 won't find 5 uh, 6 won't find uh, find and 5 is there in the manager id so this employee 5 is there in the manager id so so alan is the manager of alan is the manager of abhay so this is the result of the inner query now we have used the left join so this this is done and now what is left in the left table so in the left table only these two records are left dash and dash so that would be picked automatically alok and alan is the employee name and because a dot employee name is the employee name and for that there is no manager id here so we will be getting the manager name as blank so you can say null not blank they are null so using colas function we can make it null but we will be getting the null values so just save it sorry we don't have the shortcut here str sql so here we can see that this is the result of inner join this is the result of inner join that are the match records and these are the result rows from the left table which are unmatched 
सो आलू कैंड एल एन फॉर दैट दे इज नो मैनेजर सो वैल्यू इज नल सो दिस इज द डेमो ऑफ सेल्फ ज्वाइन यूजिंग इनर एंड लेफ्ट ज्वाइन आई थिंक द कॉन्सेप्ट इज नाउ मोर क्लियर टू यू Uh, because i have uh, just shown we you with the same data to uh, displaying twice um displaying twice here and how uh, this query process the data i also explained that this employee id will be searched in this manager id and if it this employee id finds here then that is a manager so this is a manager then and this is if in case is it find in the first table so this is a manager then it's automatically an employee so employee and manager name you would be getting the employee and the manager name using this self join query so this is the demo of uh, this is all that uh, for the self join using inner or uh, left join that's all thank you and have a nice time